Hey, what's up? How you doing, everybody? So I'm going to start out by talking about this new migraine medication I'm on. It's called Ubrelvi. And it has the best generic name I've ever heard, which is Ubrojapant. Just Ubrojapant. That's so good. I don't know why they decided to call it Ubrelvi, because that's nowhere near as good as Ubrojapant. So, uh, pros. Very few side effects. My typing's gotten noticeably worse, as you might have noticed in the toot. But other than that, there's very few noticeable side effects with it. It's, uh... You bro Japan sounds like an Elizabethan insult. Exactly. Ah, uh, you get it. So, um, yeah, it's got relatively few side effects compared to a trip down. And uh, it has gotten my headache to a point where it's manageable. The cons, it takes about two hours to kick in. Uh, it doesn't tend to fully kick in until uh, at least three hours. So maybe soon my head won't be hurting at all anymore, but maybe not. In any case, it's, it's functional, but it's not as effective as triptans. At least, so far. The other con is Starscream. No, the other con is that it costs about $100 per pill. Which is unfucking reasonable $100 per dose is not something that should exist. One second. The other con is the medical system, exactly. Alright, so, we're gonna continue with Midnight Scenes Episode 3. Since we got cut off last time, and hopefully that won't happen this time. So, uh, let's get on it. How you doing, Bad Road? How you doing, Christy? Once again, it does not pick up this loading screen for some reason. It waits till the title screen before it can capture it. It's a big crow. You wrote a thing that you need me to look at later, all right? What? Are you serious? Well, I guess we have to start from the beginning. Ugh. I guess that's it. We're starting from the beginning. I don't recall seeing a save function. Yeah, since I know the solutions, we can get through the beginning quicker. On tonight's episode, two innocent children will face their most primal fears, haunted by mysteries from beyond the grave. Ancient secrets that should never have been unearthed, tormented souls wandering between realities. Turn off the lights and enjoy this chilling tale. Welcome to another dimension. Welcome to Midnight Sea. Let me get voices down for each of the main characters. Oh no! Okay, here's our boy voice. And here's our girl voice. Hey, beekeeper. October 1986. Got the narrator voice down pat. 
Yeah, having another go and I didn't save the game last time, so whoops. <laughs> Good morning, my name's John Wilson. Good morning. Wait a second. I am John Wilson. What are you talking about? You must be a double. A double? Are you crazy? Doubles don't exist. Really? Then how do you explain this? Oh no, you're a doppelganger. My evil double, aren't you? Are you here to kill me and steal my identity? I don't want to die so young. Ugh! Are you coming to say goodbye to mom and dad? I'm busy. What are you playing anyway? Oh, I still can't believe they bought me another identical Benny for my birthday. They don't care about me at all. They don't even remember which toys they already gave me. They're gonna be away for three days. Won't you miss them? Why should I? They're leaving me alone with you and that silly Veronica for three days. I hate them. Veronica is nice. I like her. That's because you don't have any personality. Aren't two Bennies better than one? Don't be silly. It's ridiculous. Can I have one of them? No way. I'd rather keep playing this stupid doppelganger thing for the rest of my life. So, uh, as you can see, it's not midnight. It's, uh, it's three in the afternoon. Aw, oh, man, DuckTales is gonna be on soon. Wait, this is 86. DuckTales hadn't been invented yet. Don't worry, if anything comes up, I'll call you right away. Have a great trip. The bay's beautiful this time of year. I <laughs> wish we were going for pleasure, not work. We should go. The plane leaves in three hours, and we might hit some traffic. Chihai Joe will be on soon. There you go. Speed Racer, Ultraman. Yeah. I'm a little young to remember 86, because that's the year I was born. Bye, kids. Don't push Veronica too hard. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Well, here we are. Hey, Freya. We still have a couple hours till dinner time. What would you like to do? Let's paint. I like to paint trucks that explode and... Your drawings are boring. You paint like a little baby. That's not true. Let's watch TV. The Amazing Jesse Marks is about to start. I love that show. Of course you do. TV is entertainment for dumb kids. She's really mean. And I can relate to that, having a biological older brother. <laughs> it was worse than that sometimes. He's grown up a lot. <laughs> Tina, don't talk to your brother like that. It's Christina. Only my family calls me Tina. I've taken care of you so many times. Don't you consider me family yet? Don't be ridiculous. Well, Oliver, it looks like your sister's in a mood today. Maybe she wants to tell us what to do. Let's go to the forest. The forest? On the other side of the lake. Yeah, it's super cool. We go there some afternoons with mom and dad. We cross the lake with the boat and have a picnic sometimes. Can we go, please? That way I can look for my toy truck. I lost it in the clearing the other day. Okay, fine. Just for an hour and then we come back. Yay! You pick up the oars. Sure. All 
Alright, so we got the oars and the rope around the oars. Got him! Sparkle hasn't come to eat in days. We still never got an explanation for who Sparkle was. I assume a dog, but it might be a raccoon. Born in 63, married in 88. Wow. Been married for a long time. That's awesome. We've been married for what? Five years? Do either of you know how to row? I've never piloted a boat. Leave it to the professionals. But it's safe, right? Don't be afraid. There are no monsters in the lake or anything like that. Just sit next to me and take my hand. Ugh, get in the boat, lovebirds. We need to install the oars first. All aboard. I like how he doesn't install the, the oars immediately. That just kind of makes it there. <laughs> Can I go look for my truck? It can't be very far. You're always losing stuff. You lose your stupid head one day. Okay, you can go, but don't walk too far away. I don't want to lose sight of you. Let's go to the forest. Yeah, I'm, I'm changing up the dialogue a bit. People are so inconsiderate. Doesn't let me take the half-eaten chocolate bar. This is one of these crows has the secret message. Here we are. Oliver! You had an achievement for that one. Here's some bones. Here's a squirrel smoking a cigarette. Here's a warning. Looks like a thumb. It was a little... Most of the art, you can immediately tell what it's supposed to be, but that one's a little strange. For some reason, I want to say the bones are, are of an otter. There's certainly something of that sort of shape. Mom never lets me play this far away from the clearing. My truck must be around here somewhere. Caw, caw. The squirrel is smoking a thumb. Yeah, I was thinking a house cat as well. Here you are. Who put you here? Hey, Oliver, come here. There's something I want to show you. What? What are you doing here? So many squirrels in this forest. One time they ate a kid from town from head to toe. Only his bones remained. I'm not lying, it was on the news. That's creepy. By the way, where's your brother? I told him not to walk too far away. Don't ask me, I'm not the babysitter. Oliver! It's very possible the squirrel was eating a thumb. I like smoking a thumb better, though. Oliver! What's wrong? What the hell is that? Forest is full of paintings like that. Dad says there's this magical aura from the tribes that lived in the woods. Keeps the paintings bright. 
This one, though, I haven't seen it before. Certainly looks recent. So creepy. You didn't paint it to scare passerby, did you? How would I have painted it? It's like 20 feet tall. <laughs> it does sound like a euphemism. <laughs> Come on, it's time we go back home. I don't like this place. It gives me the creeps. Come on, Oliver. Let's go. Oliver? Oliver! What's happening? Is he alright? No idea. Come on. Help me get him to the boat. Thank God you're back. How are you feeling? What happened? Blood sugar drop, probably. Here, eat this chocolate. It's good. Hazelnut's my favorite. Really? Mine too. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Maybe I should call the doctor. How long was I unconscious? You've been in and out for about 10 minutes? He scared us to death. Tina? Where's she? In her room, I think. I wonder what she wanted to show me. What do you mean? In the woods, she told me to follow her. I tried, but she walked too fast. Then I found that strange drawing on the rock. Really impressed you, huh? I don't know. I guess. Come on, rest while I heat up dinner. The lasagna I brought will surely bring me back to life. <laughs> that's not hazelnut, that's some dirt. I, I mean, yeah, mine too. <laughs> oh, you think Oliver's the changeling, huh? Looks like dinner did wonders. I like the happy rosy face. Now rest, little prince. Have sweet dreams. Don't listen to her. What? Tina, she's always mean, but I think you're cool. Oh, thank you very much. I think you're cool, too. I really enjoy taking care of you both, you know? You're very interesting kids. Hey, do you want to me to show you... Do you want me to show you my collection of cards? That's from the Midnight Zombies TV series. Sure, I'd love that. Veronica's really good with kids in what we've seen. She's very sweet and responsible. This one is the biggest and scariest zombie of the family, but he's always nice to the living. Don't be fooled. Even though it's a baby, this one has super sharp teeth. This one's the most evil. She devours brains. Exactly. The one thing that a kid really wants from an adult is attention. And love, of course. But attention is giving, giving kids attention is very important. And this is my favorite. Isn't she cute? What a fantastic collection. I love it. Hope you don't dream of brain-eating zombies tonight. Get some rest, Oliver. Good night. Night. What are what? Midnight zombies? Oh, there's the cicadas. The unnervingly realistic cicada sound. I think that's water, love, and attention. Oh, Oliver! Yeah, I feel you, babe. Oliver! Hey, Oliver, are you awake? 
What do you want? Let me sleep. It's Veronica. She's gone. She left us. Stop. You're always trying to scare me. You don't stop. I'll tell mom when she gets back. I'm telling you, I saw her from my window. She was walking toward the pier. She must be meeting her boyfriend secretly. And she should be here taking care of us, like that other time. You made that up. You never liked Veronica. I didn't make it up. That boyfriend of hers jumped over our, to our garden to be with her. I saw them kissing. Ew. But this time I have my camera. I'll take pictures. Come on, let's see if we can spy on them from the window. Alright, thanks for coming, beekeeper. See you later. See something? The boat's missing. They've gone to the other side of the lake. How romantic. How? She doesn't know how to steer the boat. More proof she's with her boyfriend. I can see a light in the forest, but nothing more. Dad has the old binoculars in his office. I'm not going into Daddy's office at night. It's dark in there. This is your chance to prove you're not a coward anymore. Come on. They must be on his desk or in a drawer. Or maybe in the closet. Ugh. Dad would be mad if he found out I've been snooping around his office. I wonder if Dad killed someone in the war. Maybe I'll ask him when he comes back. And again, I'll mention I like that he has his own stationery. Hello? Who is it? Veronica, please come back. Why did you leave us? These are from when I was born. I like Veronica, but Miss Marquez was such a super cool nanny. She had this eye patch like Blackbeard. I miss her. She'd never have left us. Here they are. What's this? It's so squishy. <laughs> that cracks me. Finally, come on, give me the binoculars. No way, I got them, it's my turn to look. I wanna click on the crows and make them go caw caw. Doesn't let me. I'm mad about it. I see Veronica. She's alone and she looks confused. Hey, wait, she stole my flashlight. Come on, let's go to the pier. Maybe we can see what's going on from there. We can't leave the house at night. Mom and Dad will find out. Okay, I'll go alone. But I'd lock myself in the bedroom if I was you. You know the goblin in the attic likes to hunt at night and I won't be here to protect you. Shut up! So are you coming? Yeah. Great, get dressed and grab your walkie-talkies. We might need them in case we lose track of each other. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. 
As long as she didn't put burning candles and lit fuses in her hair like Blackbeard. Well, we did, we've did. we only seen one photo of her, so I wouldn't rule it out. But we're not going to, are we? Of course not, it's just a precaution. Okay, I'll get the walkie-talkies. I'm gonna put on something warm. I have the walkie-talkies. Great, let's go to the pier. Alright, we're almost back up to where we were before. Jordan's trees are invading our garden. <sighs> Impossible to see anything from here. We've taken the boat to the other shore. We'll have to walk around the lake on foot. I have a very bad feeling about this. Do you think I'm enjoying this? Of course you are. I don't like it when you get bossy like this. Why does everything have to be done your way? Well, I don't like dragging along a whining crybaby either. So we both have to put up with it. Okay, I'm sorry. Sometimes you're not such a crybaby. What now? There's something floating in the water. Looks like a bag. It's Veronica's bag. Are you sure? Yeah, see? It has Piero the cat's face on it. It's hers. Did she drop it? We'll never reach it from here. Find me something long to get it with. Okay, but I'm taking these pruners first. This'll do. I ah, see. Responsible. If the tree is on your, or part of the tree is on your side of the fence, that part is your responsibility. You should talk with your neighbors if it's too much. Without being threatening. Did you find something? No, it's not so fun as getting a single piece of rice stuck in your throat. Tina! Are you okay? It's very cold. Something's wrapped around my leg. I can't get out. Tina, what do I do? Hey, hey, calm down. Everything will be fine. Come on, throw me something to hold on to. Now go find help. Mrs. Jordan's awake. I saw a light in her window. Come on, go. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Just hurry up, okay? Here, take one of the walkie-talkies. That way I'll know you're okay. Thank you. Alright, let's find help. Mrs. Jordan's house. Quick. I can never tell if I actually have something stuck in my throat or if it's psychosomatic. Yeah, that can happen too. I think I have an actual piece of rice in my throat in this case. It's locked. This, this is bewildering to me. Having a front door that locks from the inside. Or the... You need a key from the inside, rather. I better call Tina. I hope she's okay. 
I don't know what I'd do without you, sis. So don't drown, okay? Don't be silly. I'm not going anywhere. Have you found help yet? I'm on it. I hope that's not Sparkle. Sometimes you do that if a door has a window in it, so people can't just smash the window and turn the key. That makes sense. Okay, I get that. Did their door have a window on it? I didn't notice. Usually a bigger window than that, though. One that they could realistically reach the, the deadbolt from, I suppose. Oliver! What are you doing here? Is everything all right? Mrs. Jordan, I need help. Our babysitter was staying with us, but she left us and we went looking for and and... Okay, okay, breathe. Come on in, it's cold outside. Okay, slow down, what happened? Tina fell into the lake off the pier. Oh my god, is she okay? Yes, but she can't get out of the water. She needs help. And where are your parents? They're out. They left us with the babysitter, but she abandoned us. Okay, I'll run to the pier to help. Oh, good. Your sister. You stay here and attend Thomas in case he needs anything. You know he requires special attention. He's in his room. Keep an eye on him, will you? I'll be right back. Yeah, just a fucking few second black out there. Peach juice, yummy. Definitely not peach juice. Hello, Thomas? Oliver, what are you doing here? Tina's in trouble. Your mom went to help her. Really? I thought Bob was taking a bath upstairs. Sorry, some type of medication makes me confused. Is Tina okay? Yes, but she always ends up in trouble. At least she could get into trouble. I swear, though. Oh, I missed that. I accidentally. My hand shakes. I hate this medication. How do you feel? Physically or mentally? Physically? I can't take two steps without gasping for air. Other than that, I feel wonderful. Mentally? Well, it's only been two months since Dad died. It's been hard, and Mom makes me go to therapy with a super boring lady. Can I ask you something that I never asked you before? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Of course, ask away. About your illness. Are you gonna die soon? I'd be very lonely. You're my best friend at school. Yeah, no idea. Bob always makes plans for the future. But I think she does it to cheer me up. Her words are happy, but her face is sad. But I don't care too much about it. I'm not afraid of dying. Really? I'll go back to the same dark, tranquil place where I was before I was bored. I like that idea. You never told me how your father died. I don't know. Mom never talks about it. One day he got a call from the doctor and suddenly he stopped talking to us. He spent the rest of his days crying and sleeping. Sorry. I'm sure he loved you very much. I don't know. He changed a lot. Anyway, let's stop talking about sad things. Look, I want to show you something. It's super cool. 
A Ouija board? I found it in Mom's closet. I think she uses it to talk to Dad. Come on, who do you want to contact? There are a lot of people I want to talk to. I want to contact... Miss Marquez, my old nanny. She lived in this house before you moved in. She was great. She had one eye missing and wore an eye patch like a pirate. One day she suddenly disappeared. Mom told us she went to live on her family's farm in Colorado. But Tina says she saw an ambulance and the police. We think something horrible happened to her. Where's my comb? I feel like I need to brush my hair. There it is. That's outside the game. Oliver doesn't need to brush his hair. He's got a, a perfect dome. A perfect dome made of pixels. You don't need to comb pixels. Mothers lie, you know? They do it to protect us, but they lie. We're gonna contact your old babysitter. If she died in this house, her presence will be super strong. Thank you, Bad Road. It'll be super cool. You'll see. I don't know. Come on, this is FUD. Well, thank you both. Here, put your hand on the triangle thing. It's called a planchette. Now I'll add my hand. That way we join our energies. Now close your eyes. It's a very small Ouija board. You have them closed? Yeah? Good. Now focus on your old babysitter's image. I found this picture of her in my father's... Wait. <clears throat> I found this picture of her in my father's office. Do you think it might help? Are you kidding? It'd help a lot. Let me see. Yeah, this is really... This is really good writing. And as far as I know... Uh, this game is made... These games are made by, like, between one and three people. So I've been very impressed with all of them. I don't know if anyone other than Octavi Novato works on these. And he's... If it's just him, that's incredible. If it's a small team, that's incredible, too. Either way, we'll see when the credits roll, I suppose. Oh, it's super cool. She really looks like a pirate. This picture will attract her spirit. Did you notice that there's a uh, lipstick in the corner of Dad's picture of the nanny? Did, did y'all notice that? Come on, put it next to the board. Next to his condoms, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's start. Oh, I thought that was the wall. It could have been, but it goes over the tree as well. I don't know if I like this. Relax, we can stop whatever we want. We simply say goodbye to the spirit and she'll leave without a trace. Ready? M. I am. N. You're moving it. It's not me, it's your daddy's spirit. Oh. I'm not blood drip. Uh, do you have a leak? <sighs> the bathroom's right above us. Oh, no. Maybe Bob left the tap running. Don't get up. I'll go take a look. Wait here. Why did it come out red, and why did neither of them notice that it came out red? So yeah, that wasn't really the mom. Is, is what I'm getting here. Yep. That's why it came out red, too.
Oh my god. Mrs. Jordan, but how? I don't get it. If this is Mrs. Jordan, who's with Tina? Tina? Tina, are you there? That Mrs. Jordan is not the real Mrs. Jordan. Mrs. Jordan is dead. There's blood everywhere. Tina, do you hear me? I have to go to the pier, quickly. Oliver, what is it? I heard you screaming. It, it was the bathtub. Listen to me, I have to go find Tina. You stay here and call the police. Please do what I tell you. Police? Because of an open tap? Just do it and tell them to come fast. But Oliver... What's Tina gonna do about a fake Mrs. Jordan? Her foot's caught in something and she's hanging on to a rope to not drown. <laughs> What's the police's phone number? Shit. Did those 9114 emergencies uh, ads not come around till the 90s? Well, it's like 11. Oh, it's nearly 11. I mean, he has to drag her on an oxygen tank, but it's probably got wheels. Oh, Oliver did. Uh, Tina! Oh no, she's gone. Well, we got a uh, big paw print and some shoe prints. Did mean Thomas, who can't move two steps without gasping for air. That's true. I'm sure he was exaggerating a little bit. I know I have when talking about things like that. I can probably walk 50 feet before stopping. There are footprints to the path that borders the lake. Has Mrs. Jordan's double taken Tina into the woods? But why? I have to go find her. It's possible Mrs. Jordan killed the doppelganger in the bathtub, but what was with the giant paw print? Oh shit, there's a squirrel eating the flashlight. Tina? Veronica? My flashlight. Easy, easy. If I get closer, it'll bite me. Here, have fun. I don't know why I thought that would work or why it did work. Popper was the missing dog possible. All right, now we've got a flashlight. Achievement unlocked, light the way. Adventure game logic, yep. Yeah. Tina, thank goodness I found you. Are you okay? I thought I'd lost you forever. Come with me, Oliver. Where are you going? Tina? What was that? Oliver just got jump scared. <laughs> when your only tool is a truck, all problems are solved by the truck. Ain't that the truth? Tina, where are you? I wish they had different tones like a crow piano. A pian crow, if you will. Veronica, oh my god! What is happening?
Hey, it's the nanny. My little Oliver, it's time for bed. May I sing you a lullaby? They did forget to say goodbye to the Ouija board. Don't worry, we'll find them, even if we have to turn the world upside down. I have never seen anything like it. Two children kidnapped, the neighbor brutally murdered in her bathtub, the babysitter missing. What the hell happened here tonight? Detective, we found Veronica Turner, the babysitter in the woods. She's dead. Also murdered? Seems so. Damn it. There's something else. But there's something else. But you better see it with your own eyes. Well, I'm playing as the detective now. Hey, Lady Octopus. These are such good games. God, poor girl. Look at her wounds. Looks like a wild animal attack. A wild animal doesn't murder people in their bathtubs or kidnap children, though. And if you think that's strange, you haven't seen it all yet. Take a look at the rock. What am I supposed to see here? Agent, point the light at the painting. What the hell? Oh, shit. I thought for an end it was going to end at the jump scare, but that's so much better. Or Oliver. Or Tina. We might never know what happened to them. But don't fret. Something tells me Detective Taylor won't rest until she finds an answer. For now, it's a secret between two siblings. And the creature of the forest. Thank you very much for enjoying this new chapter of Midnight Scenes with us. Remember to shut your windows and lock your doors tight before bed. Creatures of the night are lurking. Good night and sweet dreams. Oh, that would be a fun one to get a continuation of. Midnight Scenes, The Nanny. Oh, that was good. That was good. Written and designed by Octavi Navarro and Susanna Grinelli. I think I got that name. Grinnell. So that's two people. And here's a few more. Proofreading. Joel Murray did the proofreading. All right. Thanks for playing, streaming, watching this game. Well, thank you for making this game, because these are always a fucking treat. Achievement unlocked, sweet dreams. All right, we're going to take our break right now. Uh, and we will be back in just a few minutes. In the meantime, check out these links. Uh, there is a civil rights movement going on around the country and the wider world as black Americans and people of color fight for something as seemingly simple as basic human dignity and to not be attacked and hunted by police, to not be treated as second-class citizens. Uh, we recommend the Bail Fund Network to help keep protesters out of jail, the Okra Project, 
to end the Black Trans Travel Fund to help Black trans and non-binary people with food, supplies, and travel out of dangerous situations. And the Black Hills Legal Fund to help the Lakota people take back their land that was stolen by white people, renamed arbitrarily to Mount Rushmore, the original name being translated roughly to Six Grandfathers, and had some white slave owners' faces carved into the side of it. And under this other command, this is kept up to date by my lovely wife here in chat. If anything else needs to go here, uh, please let her know. These are all current campaigns going on right now, and they are all just as important. So, check these out. Do your own research. You have access to damn near infinite information at your fingertips. There is some way that you can help. Do your best. White supremacy is, it's our responsibility to fight it. At every level, as my wife has said, I've heard her repeat it many times, globally, locally, and within ourselves. All right, we'll be back with Minute of Islands in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. We have no stance on ad blockers. Hey, what's going on? I'm back. We're gonna play some Minute of Islands. So uh, get that started. Haven't tested streaming it at all. I haven't even started it up yet. 100% blind. I am. Let's find out. Holy shit! You're right. That's me. All right, game capture, switch to Minute of Islands. There we go. Captures immediately. Perfect. I'm so glad. Let's enter to start. Is there not controller compatibility? Well, the controller's working. All right, what are our controls? Jump, run, interact. Plug in Omni Switch, draw Omni Switch. All right. And then there's also a pause button. That's good. So pretty, pretty basic controls. Resolution, full screen, graphics quality. Oh, I can't go to ultra. Gamma is probably fine. All right, let's let's get this started. All right, I have a, a cola here. Let me open that real quick. Ah, Minute of Violence is a game that deals with complex themes such as trauma, anxiety, and destructive behavior towards oneself and others. This game also uses images of language, images and language, which may be triggering or disturbing to some. Mo's journey is her story alone and not intended to be a universal depiction of people affected by these issues. All right, we've actually got a built-in content warning. Good shit right there. Should take a screenshot or something. Also, I'm running at like 250 frames per second, which isn't great. All right, I took a screenshot. You don't want games running this fast, and I didn't see a V-Sync option. Oh, well, let's see if it's sketchy on stream. Now nah, it looks smooth enough, so this is probably fine. As long as it doesn't, like, overheat my GPU with all of its polygons. Four brothers. Saffon. Bagon. Under. And Ofla. Bound by eternal purpose.
You did miss the built-in content warning. Oh, there's my cursor. And Whoops. A girl named Mo. Adventure time. Oh. Under the hissing tubes and the ever humming chambers. The pumping cylinders give her comfort. The drumming of a job well done. Come on, grab your friends. Nothing startles her more than silence. We'll go to oh for the apprentice. Use the left stick to move them all around and use B to interact with objects in the environment and inspect them. Eyeball. Explore the underground networks and investigate why the machines have fallen silent. Photographs. Many are of Mo's sister, Miri. Well, that's that's a very small jump. You picked up the Omni switch. Hooray! Ooh. Hold RT to draw the Omni switch. It will always point to your next objective like a compass and give you access to the machines of the giants. I'm so glad. Rudimentary tools for Moe's tinkering. Drawings, layouts, and blueprints. Everything's purple and yellow, I approve. Down here is not a good place to keep a pet. Aww. <laughs> it's awesome. Alright, our way to go is this way. Directly above us. An attempt to bring some life to this place. Excuse me. Burped into the mic. This is made by the people that made Inner World and Say No More. Very cool. got that feeling like a flash game a really good one mind you but it has that feeling to it whoops i bet i have to take a running leap hey. yeah that did it extended my jump just a little mo has done so much around here repaired and watched and built but in this deathly silence she is once more taunted by the one thing she will never be able to do. Their engineering can be studied and replicated, but their strength they selfishly keep.
Despite all the wiring and the manufactured tubes, the engines are powered by physical force. Jesus Christ, how horrifying. The kind that no mere human could ever muster. Well, this is so much like Adventure Time, though. Except without the, the humor so far. Which, that's okay. There's some very good, very humorless episodes of Adventure Time, too. Saffron. He was always the weakest of the four. He is struggling to breathe. Even more can taste the stale air in her mouth. It seems the ventilation system isn't working properly, but nothing does without the engine. I guess the engine is this way. Visit the observatory and make sure the other three brothers are still functioning. The four brothers, did you not watch the intro? Yeah, but I want to know what's through here. Nothing. Let's shimmy, shimmy, shimmy through the break of dawn. Yeah. Oh, you were failing to clip the content warning. That's right. Observatory is not much use. Use the Omni switch to reroute emergency power to the observatory. Oh, I guess I just do that right here. I don't know how, though. Pressing the other button isn't helping. Here we are. Draw. Oh, well, it said it was draw. RT draw. Okay. RT plus B lock in. Okay. B B B B B B B to crank. Message sent. Everything is meat. It sure looks like it. No power. RT and LT to plug the switch. Yeah. Move the probe. There we go. Now pump. It hits Mo like a punch to the chest. It is all four of them. They all broke at the same time. Failed at the same time. Something grave must have occurred. But what? Inspect the surface to investigate what made the ventilation system shut down. Fair enough. Alright, go up. Let's 
It's making sure I understand how high I can jump. What I need to climb, etc. It's doing a very good job of it. You're gonna guess allergies. <laughs> yes, it turns out that this whole game is about seasonal allergies. Without the veil, the air is too toxic to breathe. And just as more feared, the vents have all shut. The poison is kept out, but so is the oxygen. Saffron is slowly suffocating, and the other three may have it worse. She doesn't seem too worried about her own ability to breathe, though. Maybe she's robot. to make it pass without touching those. Alright, I can do this. I'm okay at video games. Alright. Gotta do the dash. With Mo the human and no one else, the fun will never end. Thank you, Badro. Minute of Islands by Studio Fizbin. <laughs> I am very good at juice. Hey, there's that juice. Check that shit out. Chapter 1, Safan. Part 1, The Island of Bowen. It shows all three purifiers are down, as if more needed any confirmation beyond the spores in the air. This is on you, Safan. Mo grunts. Pray it is not too late for me to fix your mess. Store three air purifiers located on the neighboring island of Biwa. Fish and potatoes. Mo hasn't eaten today. Her uncle's proudest catch. This is where that smell was coming from. Okay. Can I go down? No. Just this is where that smell was coming from and no explanation. At least the spores didn't spoil the crustaceans. I like that there's a big bag of fish labeled cat. A glimpse of the other islands not far from here. <gasps> a filthy chair with her uncle's behind imprinted on it.
nice. Obviously, it's for a kitty. Very much, yes. Brave seagulls. <laughs> Mo never has been interested in fishing, sitting around, doing nothing. That seagull's missing a leg. Some parts of her uncle's extensive collection. Are we ever going to see her uncle? No, can't go down there. No, not going to let me drop down. They do kind of look more like pelicans than seagulls, don't they? They're marked like seagulls, but they've got pelican beaks. They're also all very scruffy. So maybe they just don't grow them that big here. Jeez, graphic. It died a long time ago, and now the spores are taking hold of whatever remains. A better fate than the fungus eating you alive. I'll have to add that to the weekly content warning. Graphic imagery, especially of death and decay. Ship needs a quick recharge. Like what's over here? Just the water. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? The game just crashed. Also, my controller is now just vibrating. It won't, it won't stop. Let me try unplugging it and replugging it. No, it goes back to vibrating. Hmm. Well, that's not great. Let me see if I can find... No, the Minute of Islands process is not causing it, because that's gone. Huh. Well, ain't that mysterious. Well, let's see if it'll stop vibrating when I start Minute of Islands back up. So far, the answer is no. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Putting it properly didn't do it either. Um. Let me open another game that can use the controller real quick. 
No, it's just going to keep vibrating no matter what, and that's just going to destroy my hands. Apparently, I've just got to... Let me look up real quick if there's a solution to a controller that won't stop vibrating, other than restarting the computer. Controller won't stop vibrating. There's lots of videos, I just want text. Happened to me, I accidentally dropped some water on it. Okay. Find a friend and use it as a double-ended vo- Jesus Christ, Reddit, you are so useless. Um. Oh yeah, devices and printers. Let's try that. Devices and printers. Oh yeah, it's printers and scanners now, which doesn't include controllers. Controller. Set up USB game controllers. Properties. Settings. There's not a vibration test. Advanced. No, that's not doing it either. Okay. Well. I guess maybe if I uninstall the controller, then plug it back in. Device manager. Gotta have something go wrong, huh? What kind of stream would this be? Um, disable device. Hardware settings have changed. You must restart your computer for it to take a- what the fuck, Windows? No, I'm trying to avoid restarting my computer. Uninstall device. You must restart your computer. Alright, that... No. It's trying to install it, but it's still vibrating. What the actual hell? Oh, this sucks. So there's no way to fix this other than restarting the computer, as far as I can tell. Disable vibration in Steam. Okay, let's try that. Oh yeah, it might be Steam causing it. We can actually check that by closing Steam, huh? It is not Steam. Oh, oh, it took a second, but it's it stopped now. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Bad Road. That led us to the solution. It hadn't even occurred to me that it could be being caused by Steam's uh, controller settings. Alright, now Steam isn't starting because of course it's not. And Steam... Just end Steam. Honestly, that's all. Any more Steam processes I need to kill? Nope. Alright, start up Steam. This time, start up, please. Thank you. I appreciate that. Games. No. Settings. So this has been... I hope it saved the game somewhere around there. That'd be kind of annoying otherwise. Interface. Alright, I gotta do it with the game started up. Minute of Islands. Alright, shift and tab. Now I've got to... Uh, discussions. Uh, controller configuration. Why is that such a tiny button way off to the side of the screen? Um, I don't know how to disable... 
I I actually don't know how to disable um vibration from here. Hmm. Steam disable vibration. Steam controller, general controller settings, select your controller at the bottom. Okay, so I can't do it from here. I have to do it from a different screen of controller configurations because, of course. But this should theoretically prevent this from happening again. Settings. Controller. General controller settings. Xbox configuration support. 360 controller. Preferences. Rumble preference. Off. Submit. Okay. The rumble doesn't work in half the games anyway. Alright, that should theoretically keep that from happening again. <laughs> Sorry for the delay there. Let's get back to it. Thank you, Bad Road. And now the controller is not working at all. Okay, there we go. I just clicked outside of the window. Continue. How far back are we? This game is best played with headphones. Yeah, yeah. This and every other game. I get it. Ah, okay. Could be worse. Our uncle's proudest catch. Let's see what's over to the right this time. Like Mo, these bottled messages never left these islands. Oh. All right. Just pretend like I'm reading all the things again. Wow, the run is a lot faster, huh? The smell made it clear. It died a long time ago, and now the spores are taking hold of whatever remains. A better fate than the fungus eating you alive. Do not worry. I will fix your mess, and I will save our homes. Moore reassures herself. Am I muted? Shit. 
Well, y'all missed some really clever shit I was saying. Poisoning the mind, then ever so slowly, consuming the body. How it will spoil the verdant soil and obscure the midday sun. Hell of a theme song. Despite all of its dangers, more frequently inhales the poison. An occupational hazard, she calls it. A sacrifice others weren't willing to make. I feel this all the way in my past. A few violent coughs, a few eerie apparitions won't keep her from doing her job. After all, she is the bearer of the Omni-Switch. I think I figured out some of the themes. place before the great exodus now just a pile of broken things and abandoned ideas the island hosts the purifiers guarding Safan's domain and not much else anymore chapter one Safan part two the island of Biwa Love the tentacles every time. Zero of twelve something. Well, I'm remembering. Ooh. I have to grab the memory. Children used to all come here together. Miri, Moore, their friends, for the Seabury Jam, the Scarecrows, and the Rides, and then the Exodus happened. All right, so this island in particular was an amusement park. Well, let's take a look at that figurehead slash crane. I bet it's both. Looks like both. Lots of jars of stuff in the water, too. Locate and restart the first of three air purifiers to eventually cleanse Buwa and Bowen. Mm. 
dead animals taken by the fungus. Live animals not taken by the fungus. The smell of sea berries fills her nostrils. Or is it a scent lingering in her memories? Poison in the air takes some animals quicker than others. Hey. I'm exploring. here oh over here it's literally right over where i started oh well exploration is key right her uncle's estate he should be inside with the windows shut and doors locked Those windows and doors don't look very shut or locked. Moore's heart skips a beat. Either the fungus got to him, or he is somewhere out there, fiddling with the purifiers himself. Well, let's find out. Years of unopened letters. Mo can relate. The oven is still warm and smells of fresh bread. Someone left in a hurry. They forgot to turn the cooker off. The cooker. So many bottles, but just one seat. Family pictures. Only a few with Mo in them. I uh, can't fuck with the bottle that fell. Well, he didn't die here. Plushies. A meerkat and some kind of bear. And is that Jake the dog on the back? No, that's a gas mask. It kind of looks like Jake the dog, though. Her uncle's still waiting for his dog to come back. Aww. Her uncle's toolbox is missing. masks. The people who once wore them. The lingering memories of people. In one way or another. Now gone. Well. Not a worry in the world. Cheers. No, it wants me to go the other way. The purifier is waiting. Jake the gas mask. This game is right up my alley. Moore's uncle owned this place. He still somehow does. One ride was two coins, back when money still meant something. Someone enjoyed a glass of sea berry wine here. It's 
still smells of candy floss, popcorn, and frying fat. What remains of the tasty slushies of her youth? Mo doesn't have a coin to operate it. The machine looks intact. It is resting, waiting for a spark. But why did it shut down? continue that way, so I guess we're going in here. Into the hole! There's an arrow that says to go up. But I can only go down. Ooh, giant fish skull. My favorite. I'm an eye. I'm another eye. A mysterious bubbly brown pulp inside. Barry the Seaberry Boy. A hit with the visitors. Giant Fish Skull was my favorite attraction back when I still went to the state fair, right? There we go. I knew this was for something. There we go. Now I have a way back up. In case I fall. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, this leads to a different place. Well, what's the other way, then? Probably nothing. I don't know. I don't think the Gravitron has anything on, uh, on Giant Fish Skull. So what's over here, then? memory. Her uncle always told stories about his big plans. How people would come from far off lands. And distant lands. His fortune on his dream. All that's left is the rot in the jars. Got it. Mo dares to take a deep breath. The air still tastes foul, but the acrid poison is mostly gone. Two more to go. All right. This part of the island is cleansed. Now find the other two remaining purifiers. I imagine is oh this way. Okay. This kind of sounds like Monkey Island music. from here then. 
still wants me to go southeast. And go through there. Ah, oh, there's a mood bad bad road when the acrid poison is mostly gone. I could make a meme of that. Yeah, I don't know what it wants of me right now. Do we have a map? You have found four of twelve memories in this area. Find the two remaining purifiers. All right. Yeah, it doesn't let me go any further right here. Need to go back the way you came and go in a different direction. I think you're right. Just the fact that this is showing me southeast is throwing me off. Because it feels like it means I'm supposed to go southeast rather than go around to get to the southeast. I've been playing games with modern navigation systems for too long. But yeah, it makes sense that I would have to go through the house and go back past the... Um, what's they're called? The Scarecrows, I suppose. Because that is to the southeast. Oh, hey, there's stuff to climb here that I didn't notice before. Just rust and fish grease. Ah, found a memory. Moore never understood the appeal of bones. Yeah, who needs them? Tourist attraction. It's authentic, her uncle would say. But he'd always dodge the question of whether the bones were from a whale or another large creature. <laughs> Disgusting human bones. So now it should let me go this way. Yep. Excellent. She was dead set on... ...fixing the other purifier first, though. Those are some big humans. Maybe I'm a bacteria. I'm a blood cell. Well, what are the whales? Hey, no more questions. tell which way it wants me to go and which way is going to lead to finding more treasure. I think this is the story path. You're not a white blood cell. You don't have a knife. I still have never watched cells at work. I only got that reference because you literally told me a couple of days ago. <laughs> or... No, yesterday. It was yesterday. My sense of time is weak. Breaking things. Or adults stealing things. But more was always welcome here. More was family. Now let's go back the other way to find a memory before continuing on this way. If you find a story beat, you're probably going the wrong direction. And by that, I mean the right direction. But there's probably treasure if you go somewhere else. That's what Final Fantasy taught me. 
way, way back when. Oh, look, I'm right above that orchard now. Oh, this just led back to the start of the game, didn't it? Or the start of the island. Okay, cool. It's that thing that's in Final Fantasy 1 that Dark Souls invented. Maybe it will open from the inside. Find another way to get to the other side. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, oh, I found another thing to push. This one didn't even have a push mark on it. Oh, that's as far as it goes. Can I push it the other way? Yes, I can. All right, cool. That's not open from this side, exactly. People legitimately say Dark Souls invented that, and that's baffling to me. The Dark Souls fan base is bizarre. I don't recommend looking into them. Alright, that's as far as that goes. Can I not hop down there? Oh, you're getting stuck on stuff. Yeah, that's as far as this goes. What was the point of pushing it, though? Oh, I can't push it back. Oh, no. What have I done? Did I, did I destroy the game? We all know Dark Souls invented bonfires and swords and death. Oh, you're right. Okay. Oh, here we go. Cool. It's not always obvious what I can interact with. Christy got it. Christy saw it before I did. More memories. More remembers the heat on her tongue and fingers. As yeah, they use the white paint to guide me. Sweet sour jam. For weeks after, she'd carry a little teaspoon. Well, my brain doesn't always register it. Because I have a neurological condition. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And it's much worse when I have a headache. Well, we are definitely losing more and more frames. The fungus has already taken too many victims today. I figured I wouldn't get all the way to ten. The old man and his locks, protecting his property, as if a crowd might wander once again. He was tasting his own product here. Maybe they would have protect been protected inside their burrows. Hey, there's a living person. That might be the uncle. Moore remembers the first time she saw the farmer singing a song as he lit a candle by this tree. She didn't understand what he meant until later. That things are only gone when they are forgotten. Hmm. takes 
bathed in the sour scents of the fermented berries, deeply curious to know their taste. That was a dead jackalope, yes. The shack is locked with a heavy padlock. Another locked gate. Ah. I was like, am I going to walk on to the next part or nope? <laughs> All right, got to get around to the other side of that bridge to knock it down. Her uncle harpooned this one himself. Probably fakes like many of the artifacts on this island. Every man needs a hobby. Big game fishing is her uncle's. Another memory. More remembers excitedly showing everyone who would humor her the sounds and rhythms of the machine underneath the land. Her uncle always stayed the longest. Watching her face light up the little dark holes inside. The old wood groans, dreaming of past revolutions, resolute to be a solution once more before turning to dust. So, yellow is interactive. White is climbable or grabbable. Purple, red, and green are background. And sometimes the platforms. That's one of that's the biggest problem I'm having is telling what I can stand on. Check out that bag of stuff. Anything I can do here? Doesn't look like it. Gray seems to be doors. I will keep that in mind. Some of the ladders are also gray. The color coding is not totally consistent. But it's certainly not bad. He's not going to climb that at an angle, huh? Got to pull this again. Yeah, especially games with really distinct art styles with this bad road. And again. What is a ladder but a door that opens skyward? Very nice. tell you right now, Alice would be having a lot of problems here. More than I am. Need to watch out for colorblind folks, y'all. Alright, I'm up here. Now what? Oh, there's a ladder. I actually did not immediately see the ladder. I, this is, must be how Zoo feels. Legend of Zelda Skyward Door. Fuck. Let's pull this lever before going to talk to the uncle. The berry farmer sighs, exhausted from his struggle. Oh, this is the berry farmer. Things are his purview, not machines. So for all his troubles, are they the same person? To fix the machine, it's berry farmer and uncle. No fruit. More frowns, her frustration growing. She warned him 
not a toy with the machines. Moore's uncle huffs, disappointed at his niece's rudeness. For heaven's sake, was I meant to just watch as the poisonous dust slowly settled around my island? Talks with his hands. He was meant to stay inside and wait for her to be done. His heroics were simply unneeded. Two down. Everything is responding the way that it should. Looks like the old man didn't touch anything important. This part of the island is protected again. Find and restart the last air purifier. Relief washes over her uncle at the sight of her success. Feeling thankful and a little ashamed, he offers some seaberry wine as reconciliation. He hands over his key a sign of his trust, and asks her to fetch them a bottle of his finest, the one tucked away in the shed. You received the Island Master Key. So I'm going to call it there because we have lost about 850 frames in the last 20 minutes or so. Let's look at the schedule for the upcoming week, assuming that we don't have this problem every night. Tomorrow at 6 on his channel, Andy, Andymonium, will be playing Strange Horticulture. And then back here, Christy's going to be starting on Metroid Dread. Tuesday, Annie's going to be playing The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Wednesday, Bad Road on his channel will be playing Legacy of Kane Defiance at 7. And back here, Sue will be playing something new. Thursday, on his channel, Andy is going to be playing Strange Horticulture at 6. And then back here, Alice is going to continue Resident Evil Village. And then I'll be playing more Minute of Islands. To that, that, that next Friday. And then Saturday... Uh, someone on the Xenon Fiber channel will be playing Kingdom Hearts. So thanks everyone for coming. And here's our YouTube channel and our fundraiser page. Hi Gaston. He's walking up to me. And we will see you next time everybody thanks for coming and good night